Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Matter of Opinion, the show where we debate and give our opinion based off facts or the information provided. And I'm your boy, Walsh P. Now, in today's episode, I want to introduce you guys to Jacqueline Guzman, an actress who was fired over NYPD video rant on TikTok. Now, since she went on this little rant, the video, she deleted it. But we all know, whatever happens on the internet stays on the internet. Since she dropped this video, she caught massive backlash from social media. And in result, she wind up losing her job. Now, the NYPD officers that she made this rant about is 27-year-old Wilbert Mora and 22-year-old Detective Jason Rivera. Now, these two officers were ambushed and lost their life in the line of duty. So with that being said, let's look at this video that this Ms. Guzman made that she's getting a lot of flack for. We do not need to shut down most of lower Manhattan because one cop died for probably doing his job incorrectly. I want to stop her right there because these officers, they were not doing their job incorrectly. See, what happened was they were responding to a domestic violence or domestic altercation. When they got to the apartment, it was an altercation between a mother and a son. Now, after they spoke to the mother and they went to attempt to speak to the son, the son ambushed them and came out guns blazing and wind up murdering these two officers. So there was no doing their bad job in this situation. And this is why I'm not mad when police officers approach a situation with the cost to pause because you never know what this person is thinking. You have no idea if this person has any weapons, what are their intent. So yeah, you gotta approach it with a cost to pause because situations like this happens a lot. And at the end of the day, it's police officers whose lines are on the line when it comes to these situations because you never know what you're stepping into. So let's continue. They kill people who are under 22 every single day for no good reason and we don't shut down the city for them, so. Okay, yes, situations of bad cops and bad policing, but these two officers has nothing to do with those situations. Absolutely nothing. So you can't go tick for tack and try and hold these men accountable for what a few bad police officers are doing. It doesn't work that way. This is a separate situation from bad policing or whatever the case may be. So this is a time that people are trying to honor these two officers. And now you got your panties in a bunch about it because you got to go get your coffee or your Starbucks or whatever the case may be. So let's continue. Like, this is f***ing ridiculous. This is f***ing ridiculous. What if somebody is having a heart attack in this area? Nobody can get to them. Now, those who are in New Jersey or New York or surrounding area, we all know traffic in New York is crazy. So, I promise you, if there was an emergency where somebody needed their life to be saved, they would make accommodations for that ambulance to get to that destination and save that person's life. And everybody know with the traffic that goes on in New York, you're like, Jesus Christ, I hope something don't happen to somebody in New York because it's crowded. It's a lot of traffic, but they always seem to find a way to find accommodations for that ambulance to make it to that person's destination and make it to the hospital without a problem. So I digress. Let's continue. Because it's all blocked off for one f***ing cop. All blocked off for one effing cop. I'm happy this woman lost her job. Because here's a tidbit for you. I just lost my dad. My dad is a well-known pastor in the Haitian community. Now, here's the thing. For his funeral services, we're going to have his body transported from the church to the cemetery in a horse and carriage, right? So, of course, me and my siblings, we don't want no issues. We don't want no hiccups. We don't want anything of that nature to stop this man from getting to the church, to the cemetery. Same thing here. You have people that love cops. You have people that love this man. You got family members, you got kids, you got loved ones. They all want the body to get safely transported from one destination to the next destination. This is not a time for you to have your personal feelings just because people are taking the time to honor their loved one that's lost. And that's the thing, they're lost. They're never coming back. There's no coming back from death. This is the last time you're gonna see that person. So of course you want everything to be smooth. If it requires stopping traffic, guess what? That comes with the territory. Because I promise you, if that was your loved ones, 
your child, your husband, or whatever the case may be, you will make sure that there'll be no hiccups. You'll make sure that traffic would be stopped so that you can take the time to honor your loved one the way you feel they should be. So that's a shame on you. You got exactly what you deserve for being so insensitive, not caring for others in a time of need. Just to put your feelings aside for a couple of minutes. But no, you had to be very disrespectful and you got what you asked for. And because of your actions, there's a woman that actually shares the same name as this woman and has a small business and her business is being hurt because of the stupidity of this woman. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Michelle Guzman. Um, I am a 25 year old gymnastics coach and small business owner. Um, this video is to clarify that I am not the Jacqueline Guzman that put that video, that awful video. I don't know if you guys noticed, but you actually could have saw her hand shaking hysterically because of what this woman is going through. Well, because of what this woman is putting her through. I didn't really feel like I need to make this video, but I'm going to do it anyways. I have been receiving multiple calls and messages and many, many threats. So my sister, who is also my partner, has been taking over and helping clearing that it's not me. That's sad. Just because somebody shares the same name as you because of their stupid actions, you're now getting death threats, you're getting harassed, your business is suffering. Like, it's sad. Um... I just really hope that if I know the people that know me know it's not me, but for the people that don't, if you can just please take a second to hear my voice and be my face. Help clarifies a bit more. Well, guys are targeting the wrong person. Asking me to please stop and to please stop targeting me and attacking me. I personally cannot handle it. For the people who are helping me and helping the business and my family, I really appreciate you. Thank you for everything. Everyone has a good day. And stay safe. I know the road's been That was, that was pretty much an outcry. That was a cry for help. All because this woman wanted to be selfish to go get her Starbucks or whatever the case may be. And I know it wasn't her trying to rush to get Starbucks. But still, at the end of the day, you're trying to rush and complaining about traffic being stopped. For what? Whenever there's a death or a funeral service, anything of that nature, traffic is usually always stopped for the body to get from one destination to the next destination that's common practice and out of respect for those people who are going through a tough time losing their loved ones everybody seemed to come together and have an understanding to have patience to let that grieving family do what they got to do but yet you thought it was cool to take up your phone go on tiktok go on a tirade and throw a bunch of vulgarity out thinking, hey, I'm going to get likes. I'm going to go viral. Yeah, you went viral for all the wrong reasons. And now because of that, you're out of a job. Let that be a lesson to people who want to take up their phone and try to capitalize on somebody's misfortune or death or anything of that nature. Let that be a lesson to you. Rest in peace to them officers. My condolences to the family. And that's going to do it for this episode of Matter of Opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If this is your first time here, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell. And if you want to join our locals and our Discord, the links are in the description. I'm Walls P. This is Matter of Opinion. 
and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. It's a matter of a pill.